Singapore reported its Singapore are set to explore developing a solar farm. Analysts expect Singapore's economy to continue growing because of its connections to global trade. This was a mud flat swamp. Today, this is our modern city. Ten years from now, this will be a metropolis. Singapore, a tiny red dot on the world map, yet a global titan of wealth and prosperity. How did this island nation, once a British colony, transform itself into one of the world's richest countries? Join us as we unravel the secrets behind Singapore's extraordinary economic journey. Picture this, a tiny island nation barely visible on a world map, no sprawling oil fields, no vast tracts of fertile land, no towering mountains brimming with precious minerals. This was Singapore in 1965 when it gained independence from British colonial rule. It was a David facing a world of Goliaths. The odds were stacked against it. The fledging nation was a melting pot of Chinese, Malay, Indian, and other ethnicities, each with their own aspirations and challenges. Tensions were high, and the threat of communal strife loomed large. Basic infrastructure was lacking, and the economy was sputtering. It was a fragile ecosystem, teetering on the brink. Yet, it was precisely this adversity that forged the nation's indomitable spirit. Singaporeans were confronted with a stark reality. They had to carve their own destiny. There were no shortcuts, no handouts. It was survival of the fittest. And the fittest would be those who adapted, innovated, and worked tirelessly. At the helm of this nascent nation was Lee Kuan Yew, a charismatic and visionary leader. He understood the gravity of the situation and the immense challenges that lay ahead. But he also saw an opportunity, an opportunity to transform Singapore into a beacon of prosperity and progress. His conviction was unwavering. With the right policies, the right leadership, and the right mindset, Singapore could defy the odds and emerge as a global powerhouse. The journey ahead was fraught with uncertainties. But the Singaporean people, under the guidance of their leaders, were ready to embrace the challenge. They were about to embark on a remarkable experiment in nation-building, a story that would captivate the world. Singaporeans quickly realized that their greatest resource wasn't buried in the earth, but rather resided within the minds of its people. Education was seen not as a privilege, but as a birthright. The government poured substantial resources into building schools, training teachers, and crafting a rigorous curriculum. The goal was clear, to create a population equipped with the knowledge and skills to compete on the global stage. Meritocracy became the bedrock of Singaporean society. Regardless of your background, your worth was determined by your abilities. This relentless pursuit of excellence permeated every facet of life. But especially in education, students were pushed to their limits, challenged to think critically, and encouraged to be lifelong learners. The results were astonishing. Singapore consistently topped international education rankings. Its graduates were highly sought after by multinational corporations. The nation transformed from a labor-intensive economy to a knowledge-based one. It was a testament to the belief that education was not just about acquiring information but about cultivating a mindset of innovation and problem solving. Singapore's geographical fortune is undeniable. Nestled at the heart of Southeast Asia, a region teeming with economic activity, the island nation found itself at the crossroads of global trade. This strategic position was no accident of fate but a deliberate and visionary exploitation of opportunity. Recognizing the potential of its location, Singapore transformed itself into a maritime marvel. Massive investments poured into developing state-of-the-art port facilities, creating a logistical behemoth capable of handling the world's largest vessels. Soon, Singapore's skyline was dominated by towering cranes and bustling container terminals a testament to its ambition. 
ships laden with goods from every corner of the globe converged on the island, making it a vital link in the global supply chain. But Singapore's aspirations extended far beyond being a mere transshipment point. The nation harbored a grander vision to become a global financial hub with a strategic land of political stability, world-class infrastructure, and a business-friendly climate. Singapore began to attract international banks, multinational corporations, and high net worth individuals. Its efficient bureaucracy, transparent legal system, and low tax rates create an environment conducive to business growth and investment. Singapore's strategic location was the foundation, but it was the nation's determination to excel in finance, coupled with its political and economic stability that truly set it apart. The island became a magnet for capital, a place where deals were made and fortunes were built. Its status as a safe harbor in a region sometimes marked by volatility solidified its position as a preferred destination for investors. As the world economy grew increasingly interconnected, Singapore's role as a global financial center expanded the city-state became a platform for trade finance, offshore banking, and wealth management. It attracted a diverse range of financial institutions, from traditional banks to innovative fintech startups, creating a vibrant and dynamic financial ecosystem. Singapore's journey from a small trading port to a global financing powerhouse is a testament to the power of strategic thinking and execution. The nation's leaders understood that location alone was not enough. It required a concerted effort to build the necessary infrastructure, create a conducive business environment, and cultivate a skilled workforce to fully capitalize on its geographical advantage. At the heart of Singapore's economic miracle lies a government that has been an unwavering champion of good governance and efficiency. A cornerstone of its success has been an ironclad commitment to transparency and accountability. Corruption, a scourge that plagues many developing nations, was met with zero tolerance. Severe penalties were imposed on those found guilty, sending a clear message that unethical practices would not be tolerated. This uncompromising stance fostered the culture of integrity, earning Singapore a reputation as a safe and reliable business destination. Recognizing that businesses are the lifeblood of any economy, the Singaporean government adopted a proactive approach to creating a business-friendly environment. Red tape, often a formidable barrier to entrepreneurship, was systematically dismantled. Bureaucratic hurdles were lowered, permitting processes were streamlined, and regulations were made clear and accessible. The government understood that time is money for businesses and acted decisively to minimize administrative burdens. Furthermore, Singapore offered an enticing package of incentives to attract both domestic and foreign investors. Tax breaks, grants, and subsidies were strategically deployed to encourage innovation, research and development, and job creation. The government also played a pivotal role in developing world-class infrastructure, ensuring that businesses had access to reliable power, transportation, and telecommunications networks. Foreign investors were welcomed with open arms and treated as valued partners in Singapore's economic growth. The government established clear and consistent policies to protect their investments, providing a stable and predictable operating environment. This investor-friendly approach fostered a climate of confidence, encouraging capital inflows and technology transfer. Singapore's commitment to efficiency was legendary. From obtaining permits to resolving commercial disputes, government agencies were renowned for their speed and responsiveness. A culture of service excellence was instilled in the civil service, ensuring that businesses could operate without undue delays. This efficiency translated into cost savings for companies, allowing them to focus on core competencies rather than navigating a complex bureaucratic maze. The combination of good governance, a business-friendly climate, and unparalleled efficiency transformed Singapore 
into a magnet for entrepreneurs and multinational corporations. The island nation became a living example of how a government can be a catalyst for economic growth, demonstrating that effective policies and a supportive environment can overcome resource constraints and propel a nation to prosperity. Singapore realized that to sustain its economic growth, it needed to move beyond being just a trade hub. Innovation became the new frontier. The government poured substantial resources into research and development, setting up world-class research institutions and collaborating with leading universities. A culture of innovation was fostered, encouraging citizens and businesses to think outside the box. The nation's focus extended to emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and fintech. Singapore positioned itself as a testbed for these innovations, attracting tech giants and startups alike. The government provided the necessary infrastructure, talent, and regulatory environment to support these ventures, transforming Singapore into a digital powerhouse. This emphasis on innovation created a ripple effect through the economy. New industries emerged, generating high-value jobs. Singapore's reputation as a forward-thinking nation attracted global talent, further fueling its innovation ecosystem. It was a bet on the future that paid off handsomely. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. Thanks for watching.